What's going on guys? So in front of me, you were looking at an absolutely gorgeous and new floor plan from the folks at Alliance. So we are at the Ron Hoover booth here in Houston, Texas at the Houston RV Show. We're gonna take a look at this really incredible floor plan, huge, huge fifth wheel, and uh, go over all the details. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so as always, let's talk about the numbers on this unit. So this unit has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 2,880 pounds, rides on twin 7,000 pound axles, and has a dry weight of 13,860 pounds. In my opinion, if you were gonna tow this with a, a specific type of truck, I would recommend a dually. Now there are some single rear wheel one ton trucks that could get away towing a unit this large, but in my opinion, you really wanna get something that has the stability and redundancy of a dually with those extra tires on the back. Anyways, we're gonna hop inside of this unit, take a quick look at the interior, then we're gonna come back out and walk around the outside. Okay, stepping up the Lippard solid steps, we're gonna take a look inside of this 395 DS. This does use Asdell on the exterior wall. So basically Asdell is a composite sidewall material. It really is a great material because the fiberglass is laminated to that versus a traditional wood backer, which means if any moisture or anything like that gets into that paneling, it's not gonna cause any type of delamination or rot or mildew. All right, again, all new floor plan from the folks over at Alliance. Gonna kind of pan around here a little bit, then we'll walk through. All right, so let's kind of do things differently. Let's start from the bedroom and work our way to the back because we are now in the front overhang of this unit. So check this out. As always, you're gonna have this really cool hidden storage right here that does soft closing, magnetically secured drawers, nice real hardwoods. Got your TV in place already. Good size window right here, also with roller shades. Coming around this way, you have a beautiful closet up front. Good amount of room in there as well. I believe it, it's probably gonna be prepped for a washer and dryer. I just don't know if it's gonna be prepped here. Yep, so your washer connections are right here and your dryer connections are right there. So I'm a little confused with some things here because I see your water location here, but your dryer vent is also right here. So this is likely made for a combo unit because traditionally you'd want to put your dryer vent location on the opposite wall simply because your washer would be right here so it could connect to the water connections and then your dryer would be right there so it could vent out. Coming around this way, nice nightstands at the end of the bed. Nice king size bed, I like how it's nice and low as well. Beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Check that out. They're kind of signature epoxy poured tops. This looks absolutely gorgeous though. Beautiful shower surround. Nice bench right here as well. Over here you have your porcelain foot flush toilet with a soft closed lid. Little things like that actually separate brands when, when a brand's willing to put soft closed lids on an RV toilet. A lot of space for toiletries. Nice medicine cabinet there as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful shower. And again, I can't emphasize how gorgeous that epoxy top with the stainless bowl looks. Nice little sliding barn style door right here as well. Coming around this way into the kitchen. Nice solid surface countertops. Has the upgraded Insignia four burner stove, as well as beautiful residential microwave. Over here are all of your controls. Nice cabinetry, magnetic latches, soft closing as well. Coming around this way. You have some cabinet storage under here. As well as drawers over here. Like that reinforced drawers. They are not soft closing, however. They look beautiful though. Color-coded wiring, this is your fuse breaker panel. Single basin stainless steel sink, nice draining rack up top. Has a nice upgraded faucet here as well. This is really cool. 
So you're going to probably have an access hatch to put a trash can there so you can just drop stuff in there. Very innovative. Or cabinetry. And that's one thing I really like about this kitchen. Even though it's kind of a confined area right here, you still have a very residential feel to it. And that the oven is facing this way, you don't really have that traffic jam effect that you get with some when they put an oven on a wall or in a different area. Panning around. Over here, you have a Norcold residential refrigerator. A lot of storage inside. This is actually the first time I've seen this specific refrigerator. Over here, you have a huge pantry space. Very cool. What would have actually been a little cooler as well, I think, is if they made these shelves a little shorter because these are very, very deep shelves and it's it's unlikely you'd be able to reach anything at the back here. So if they put a wall right here, you'd still have a tremendous amount of pantry space. But what that would give you is the ability to put a little cabinet right here for perhaps like a small coat closet or something that you could actually use for other types of storage right there as well. But just my feedback huge window check that thing out that window is absolutely enormous i'm going to guesstimate it's a four foot square window their atrium windows that's their branding of windows that they put in nice freestanding dinette you're going to have two more chairs hidden somewhere around here you have your theater style seating right here as well as a love seat right here that will fold out into a bed Beautiful wood valances. It's branded Alliance up there on the top. Wonderful entertainment area. Good sized TV. Looks like it is, maybe it says somewhere on here. My theory though is that is a 55 inch TV. Panoramic fireplace below. You got some stairs that will take you up to the loft. So this is kind of a special place. They're very sturdy steps too. Huge loft. Looks like a queen size bed up here. This is great because you have a bedroom up front for adults and then you have a great spot for the kids up here to entertain them with a nice little overview area and a full second bedroom. So check this out. So this isn't just like a, a you know, hand-me-down bedroom. You actually get a full second bedroom below the loft. Absolutely gorgeous. Full nightstands as well as a headboard. This is a queen size bed. At least it appears to be a queen size bed. Coming around this way, check out all the wardrobe. I think you actually have more wardrobe space in this bedroom than you do the other bedroom. A lot of drawers, all magnetically closing. They're not soft closing drawers though. You still get the cool little hideaway spot over here to flip up. More wardrobe storage. More drawers down there. More drawers and wardrobe storage over here. Plus the TV already on the wall. Very, very cool space. And they put two air conditioning vents up top here that duck down through the roof, which is really nice. Another barn style door. Coming into the bathroom. Another one of those really nice epoxy coated countertops. Beautiful, beautiful material. A backlit medicine cabinet. Window up top. Nice size shower. You know, it's not a huge residential size, but it is a good size shower. I don't think you'd really have any issue taking a shower in here, honestly. You have very, very tall ceilings, so ceiling height wouldn't be an issue. This shower would actually be better for taller folks because you just don't have to worry about ceiling height clearance at all. Drawers down here. Another porcelain foot flush toilet. But actually, this is not a porcelain foot flush. This has a macerator built into it. So this specific toilet, once you use it and flush it, it actually shreds everything up, mixes it with water, and keeps it from sludging up your black tank. Here's your flushing button right here. Light switch, max air fan control. Very, very cool unit. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's step outside and see what the outside's all about. All right, so starting from the front, working our way back. This has the Kurt Rotoflex pin box up front. Basically a large rubber bushing right here. This rotates, helps reduce some of that shock and road vibration that transfers from the truck to the trailer or the trailer to the truck. This has the hydraulic level up 
auto leveling system. Spot for a 30 pound propane can on one side and you'll have another one on the other side. Nice thick baggage doors right here. This is gonna be your front basement storage area. Controls, you have your three inch aluminum bath deck. The flooring right here is also really nice. This does ride on a wide body format as well. Underneath, this utilizes an eight inch drop beam. Lippard solid step entry steps. This really cool new Moride Safe Trail hand grip. A lot different than uh, hand grips of the past and it extends all the way down to the side of the steps as well. Very cool. Underneath you have a rack and pinion slide out system. Again attached to a, actually it's a 10 inch main I-beam. So you have an 8 inch I-beam attached to a 10 inch main I-beam. Coming around, this is going to have the Cree 3000 suspension system with Sterling G-rated tires. 7,000 pound axles, and it has the heavier duty 4K leaf springs as well. Back of your leveling system. You have dual awnings. You have an awning up front, and you also have an awning here with an LED light strip. This uses standard framed windows with the weep holes right here. Basically, the, the whole point behind these is you get better cross ventilation because the windows actually slide open versus tilting out like frameless windows. So that is intentional. Coming around to the back, all LED lighting. Has a ladder to get you up on top. Does have a two inch receiver back here. It does have a four way connector for trailer lights. Though I don't recommend towing a trailer behind fifth wheels. Coming around this way. Again, all LED lighting. Schwintech slide over here. Another rack and pinion slide right here. So what they've done here is kind of interesting. So you have the eight inch on 10 inch I-beam, but then you have a fully boxed section right here that's reinforced underneath your 10 inch. So that is really cool and very structural. So that'll probably add to not just the rigidity of the frame, but just the overall life of it. Coming around again. This is probably gonna be where your outside trash can goes. We saw that in the kitchen where you lift that up and you can drop your trash in. Very, very nice. I love these new little slam latch handles that are on here as well. 50 amp connection outside of your water heater, outside of your furnace. Your other storage area. You have your Nautilus panel right here for all your water connections. Little pass through. And then a spot for your other propane tank. Very, very nice. This specific unit did not have a price listed on it, so you're definitely gonna wanna give the folks over at Ron Hoover, RV and Marine, a call to see how much this unit sells for. But it is a very, very interesting, cool floor plan, especially with the two bedroom set up in the loft above the second bedroom. Anyways, guys, please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this unit. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.